It's kind of funny, I think, because he came to notoriety in the 60s wearing the white suit, covering all the crazy things happening in American culture. People probably just assumed he was a dressed up hippie. He was sort of lurking around town for uh, some time, some months. He swept through like uh, royalty, and, and he is royalty. He is uh, literary royalty. The prospect of him in Miami is so interesting because Miami's got so many weird things. Well, that's front page news. I mean, this is Tom Wolfe, the man in the white suit, come to Miami to somehow make us feel important enough. I think as a writer, he's always tried to avoid being overtly political, although his outlook and his work is, is fairly conservative. It's what I think is really the cry of our time. It's just back to blood. It's not wet blood, it's blood lines. In terms of immigrants, Miami has the highest percentage of immigrants, which makes it the number one immigrant city in the world. How do you keep it and make sure that it stays in your hands? You got a thing right here where you just hold ah, it. Right the reporter's a beggar. You have this cup and you're going around saying, you have this information and I need it. And I deserve it because I'm poor. I think he's one of those reporters that achieved such a level of fame. And rather than try to fight that, I think he embraces it. You'd think he'd be kind of conspicuous in that suit, but he seems to somehow just blend into the background. To have a book written by him about Miami, I mean, that's a bigger of a deal than having Jersey Shore films here. Do you think? But make sure the mayor and the chief of police come out looking good. <laughs> Communities often are not happy with the way books of his come out, and that will be the interesting part to see how does it go over. <laughs>